Okay, let's have a look at the question. The ratio in BTEC and MBA student in an institute is 4 is to 5 and the fees collected from them in the ratio of 25 is to 16 and the total fees collected is 1,62,000. So what is the amount collected from MBA student? Now look here, they have told what is the amount collected. Now how can you decide what is the amount collected? If I'm going to multiply, please understand, if I'm going to multiply number of students with the fees, I can see that uh, I'll get to know what is the total fees collected, right? Now look here, they have given two ratios. That is nothing but ratios of the number of students and ratios of the fees. Now can I say that if you're going to multiply these two ratios, you will get the ratio of the total fees collected, right? So look here, this is the ratio of number of students. Number of students. So BTEC and MBA. Ratio of number of students is four is to five. Similarly, a ratio of fees. Okay, a ratio of fees. And the fees collected from them is in the ratio of 25 is to 16. 25 is to 16, right? This is the number of students. And the next one is the fees collected. Now they ask the total fees collected. Total fees collected. Yes, how are you going to do this? Can I see that total fees collected is nothing but number of students into this one. I can see the ratio of total fees. The ratio of total fees is nothing but, okay, is nothing but the product of this one. So this is the final ratio, which gives 100 over 5 into this one, 5 into 16. Can I say 80? Can I say 80? It means that for every 180 rupees, for every 180 rupees collected, BTEC has given its contribution of 100 rupees and MBA has given its contribution of 80 rupees. Yes, now they have told the total of uh, fees collected is 1,62,000. What is the amount collected from MBA students? So I can say that for 180, for total of 180, MBA students contribution is 80. Yes. For total of 180 uh, rupees, MBA students' contribution is 80. So what is the total contribution for 1,62,000? Zero, zero cancels. Yes. Four to four times to uh, nine times. Check out with this whether it is divisible by nine. Nine, 10 times 90. Left out is 72. 9, 8 times. Can I say it is 18? So it is 18, 0, 0, 0. Yes, 4, 18 times 36, 72. It becomes 72,000 is the total share or total amount collected from MBA department. So the answer is option B. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, for more updates and similar videos, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.